What's up guys? Good day sa inyong lahat. Welcome again sa channel ko at welcome for another episode of my vlog. Hi guys! Welcome again sa channel ko. Today is December 17, 2018. Seven days to go, Pasko na. So medyo excited pero wala tayong magagawa. Nandito tayo sa bansang UAE. So kailangan lang ng chill lang. Kasi dito syempre malayo sa pamilya. So chill lang. Ano lang ang celebration ng Christmas. Hindi masyadong masaya. Basta kakain lang sa labas. Okay na yon. Actually, may duty nga pala ako nun. So, may trabaho rin, may trabaho rin ako. So, hindi yung masyadong ano. Siguro, kakain lang kami sa labas. Magdi-dinner lang. Tapos, okay na yun. Anyway, guys. Uh, today is a uh, day off ko. So, second off ko today. Kasi kahapon, uh, natulog lang din ako maghapon. Kasi galing nga akong night duty. Ngayon, wala akong ibang gagawin. Kundi, maglilinis lang ng bahay maglalaba. Actually, kakahatid ko lang kay wife sa trabaho niya. So, after ko siyang hinatid, ito pagdating ko dito sa bahay, namili na ako ng mga lulutong ni mamaya para sa dino. Ayan. Uh, bawang, patatas, carrots, and sibuyas. So, magluluto tayo ng ginilay para sa dino namin mamaya. Anyway guys, uh, kaninang umaga nung nagising ako, I check on my Facebook, punong-puno ng ano, ng balita tungkol sa Miss Universe. So, hindi ko alam Miss Universe pageant pala kanina na ginanap sa Bangkok, Thailand. So, nung inabot ko na siya, siguro nasa top 10 na yata yun eh. Oo, top 10 na. So, makita ko naman si ano, yung Miss Philippines. Okay naman siya. So, pinanood ko na Actually, nagising na nga si Mrs. at nanood na rin kami dalawa. So, masasabi ko lang, of course, siyempre nanalo siya, no? Wala namang dahilan para matalo siya dahil matalino na at maganda pa. So, congratulations again kay Miss Philippines, kay Catriona Gray. Uh, sana sa pagiging Miss Universe mo, magampanan mo yung, yung tungkol. So, once again, congratulations to you at uh, good job. Good job sa pagpapanalo mo. Lahat ng Filipino sa Pilipinas, actually sigurado sa Pilipinas, uh, tumigil na naman ang mundo. Parang ano yan eh, parang paglaban ni Pacquiao, tumitigil ang mundo sa Pilipinas. Dito naman sigurado lahat ng OFW sa buong mundo nakatutok doon kasi sa Facebook lang eh. Talagang nagpa-flood ng puro Miss Universe. Baga, mas updated pa sila kaysa doon sa live telecast ng pageant. Anyway, again, uh, congratulations. Uh, proud kami. Proud kami mga Filipino dito sa ibang bansa sa pagkakapanalo mo. Talagang di winagaway, winagaway, uh, ano ba yun? Winagaway, winagaway, ano ba sasabi na? Basta, uh, lahat ng Pilipino eh, proud sa iyo. Winagay, winagay. Ewan ko, hindi ko masabi. So, again, congratulations. Uh, good job. Good job talaga. Congrats. So, Miss Katriana, malamang sigurado yan na uh, marami mag-offer sa iyo sa showbiz, sa politika. So, ka nang sasali sa mga ganun. Mag-focus ka na lang sa pagiging Miss Universe. Actually, may nabasa pa nga ako sa Facebook eh. Baka raw sino raw ba ang kukuha sa yung noon time show? Itbulaga daw ba or ano ba yun? Showtime or kay kay Wow Wow Wing? Don't know. So, basta mag-focus ka na lang sa ano, sa pagiging Miss Universe. Alam ko naman na kayang-kaya mo yan. So, anyway guys, sa lahat ng nakamiss nung Miss Universe sa uh, nag ano ako ng video ng short video para sa kanya so in case you miss it you miss the pageant here's the video once again congratulations saludo ako sa iyo always remember guys god is good god is really good all the time see you on my next vlog 
Working in some of the poorest areas of my country, I found that it was a lack of child support, not poverty, that killed their dreams. A child once told me, Kat, that's just not my life and those dreams aren't meant for me. But I stand here today because someone believed in me and we owe it to our children to believe in them. Kapong ka! Philippines! Oh, wow, a slow-mo turn. And then she goes on into giving us that great face, that great attitude. She's, she's killing the game here. Philippines has so much riding on this and of course a crowd favorite and different I love the color I love her smile she has a sultry sultry walk welcome back I'm backstage here with Philippines and this is, there's so much going on right now. So what's the number one thing on your mind right now? I just want to go out there and be my best. And I can feel my country right behind me. So I'm so honored to be in the top ten. I'm rooting for you too. So good luck. How are you? I'm good, Steve. I can't believe it's top five already. <laughs> well, it's here. Uh, here's your question. Canada recently joined Uruguay as the second nation in the world to make marijuana legal. What is your opinion on the legalization of marijuana? I'm for it being used in a medical use, but not so for recreational use. Because I think if people were to argue, what about alcohol and cigarettes? Well, everything is good, but in moderation. Thank you. Thank you, Philippines. The first finalist with a chance to take the Miss Universe crown is... Philippines! What is the most important lesson you've learned in your life and how would you apply it to your time as Miss Universe? I work a lot in the slums of Tondo, Manila and the life there is very, it's poor and it's very sad and I've always taught myself to look for the beauty in it, to look in the beauty in the faces of the children and to be grateful. And I would bring this aspect as a Miss Universe to see situations with a silver lining and to assess where I could give something, where I could provide something as a spokesperson. And this, I think, if I could teach also people to be grateful, we could have an amazing world where negativity could not grow and foster and children would have a smile on their face. Thank you.